Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're painting a Japanese geisha. Hi guys, welcome back to another airbrush video. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be painting a Japanese geisha. I've got the image in front of me here. I blew this up. I've got a light pencil outline. Uh, this is a full color portrait. So this one's gonna take a bit of time, guys. So I'm gonna stick you on a big time lapse and just plow through this. I'll have a couple of little interviews through the way, but we've got full color spectrum on this all the way through, loads of detail on it. So I'm gonna be bouncing across the PS2 710 and the PS771 on this, because it's some real fine detail. So we will crack on, and I'll see you in the first interval, guys. guys little interval I'm just chipping away at this this is a small image if you've got your hand the basically whole of the head is the size of my hand so it is quite small that's what we're working from on the picture so I'm just dropping the tones in I'll drop the background in first and now I'm just chipping away at this piece we'll get all this piece and then we'll start working down so that's where I am at the minute I've been using the golden range again, dropping the highlights with a paint pen, just dropping them in place where I need them. Um, we've mixed a reddish tone and put it in here on the first pass. Bit of shading grey. We've mixed some really pale washed out, um, like a lilac going through the face. Because geishas are quite white and they're like prominent colours on the faces. We're gonna drop some more whites in here and just pop the face out. We've got more darks to go in on the eyes. This is just the first pass, just putting pieces in place. So that's where we are. I'll stick you in another time-lapse and we'll crack on guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Another little break. We've started working the hair in. 
I'm just putting the little details in around here. These are just basically the little squiggly lines and then I'm highlighting on the top as I go along with a paint pen and just popping the highlights out, going back into the airbrush, knocking them back with a shading grey and then bringing them back out again where they need to go. Just going to finish this top part of the hair off and then we'll start We'll start to work down and we'll start dropping all this piece in and then we can concentrate on the background pieces dropping them bits in and then i'm going to frame this i'm going to spray the mount in black and then i'm going to do some japanese text in the glass coming down i'm going to etch that so that'll be all etched so you see it with the black background behind it so that's where we are We'll press on our sticker in on the time lapse. Still using the Goldens, high flow acrylics. Been mixing some reds, some dark ready purples, things like that, shading grey. Yeah, and just making my own colours up, getting them as close to the picture as I can, and just working it down, guys. So I'll see you in the next step. Chuck you on a time lapse, and I'll give you another chat in the next interval. Mm -hmm. Call that one done I actually enjoyed painting this it was wasn't hard it was quite easy made my own colors up along the way and just sort of plodded on and enjoyed painting it I do like painting the Japanese manga style geisha things like that I really get into it and I enjoy painting it so that's the finished piece guys I hope you enjoyed this short sort of video I didn't do much talking through it just kept dropping you on time lapses. We used the Golden High Flow Acrylics, I've used shields, paint pens, and I, I stuck with the PS270 all the way, the 0.2, and painted that with the 0.2. Nice and comfortable, no finger ache, brilliant brush guys, highly recommend it. I was gonna jump onto the 771, thinking I've gotta get down because there's some real tight details in this, but, PS270 all the way, not a problem at all. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on DreadFX Custom Paint. And I shall see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.